Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Working on the uh, portrait now of the sauna. Getting some handrails made for the front to left and right facing out. Um, I just went down and checked my trail camera down uh, in the valley here by the beaver dam. I haven't uh, put it in my computer yet to see what's on it, but uh, there's some fresh bear tracks and bear droppings down at the beaver dam. So I know that there's a bear passing there. It looks like it's a pretty big bear. I get a lot of questions about bears and wolves, especially again from new uh, viewers, new subscribers to the channel. Um, if you've been following along since the beginning, you've seen several bear images from here, including the uh, trail camera pictures, but also me filming that bear that was hanging around down in that valley two Octobers ago. It's just about October now. Um, so two, two years ago when I was building the cabin, there was a bear hanging around. During the day, I saw him quite often as I was working. And then um, not a lot of other activity and never bears right up here on this sort of plateau where the cabin and the uh, forest kitchen, the sauna and everything is. So generally they're down the trail that way or crossing the beaver dam here. And it looks like by the trail camera pictures that when they come up through the, the path there up the trail, they end up going down, maybe down into the valley here, crossing the creek and coming along. So they're avoiding the cabin in particular. Now I've seen, uh, what I've only seen, I think that one bear in person here, the rest of the time I just know they're here because of the trail camera pictures. Now there's one time a couple of months ago that, um, I'm not sure when that was, I'll show you the picture anyway, but it was down here on the trail, a, a young bear came through while Callie and I were here cooking in the kitchen and it didn't come close that I, well, we didn't see it or hear it, Callie didn't go after anything, but uh, it was close, that's probably, I don't know, 80, 90, 100 yards, something like that from, from where I'm sitting right here this way. And then uh, Mark Raycroft stayed over one night and we cooked something in the outdoor kitchen. And we'd, we were filming a podcast inside and literally five minutes after we went in, there was a bear on the trail camera, pretty big one, right down here behind the cabin where the, the uh, beaver dam is again. So that's a major trail crossing, a major uh, creek crossing and a travel corridor for all kinds of big game animals. So if, uh, lots of animals in particular. I've had small animals like otter, uh, fisher, marten, uh, raccoon, even a skunk, which I've never seen up here otherwise. And then uh, wolf, uh, bear, moose, and deer. All of those animals cross that one spot. Reason being that it's a creek that comes all the way down the side of the property, sort of like a moat around the, the land here, around the cabin. And then down uh, in the beaver meadow, gets quite wide and they don't like crossing that opening so they either cross this beaver dam or the beaver dam at the far end of the, the beaver meadow that I dammed up a few weeks ago so it's uh, it's a good spot to view wildlife now um, I'm gonna show I'm sure there's bear on that trail camera so hopefully right now I'm putting that picture up so you can see what's been down there lately so the question well and then uh, on the last video actually over here on my self-reliance channel Again, over here, I always have a trail camera there because that's the main trail to come up to the cabin. And it's more of a security camera. But I get all kinds of animals on that. Sort of a junction in the trail where you can either go off to the longhouse or come up, to, up here to the cabin. And uh, there was two bull moose fighting on camera there last uh, Ju uh, well, October, I think it was. I've got other moose pictures there. Um, a wolf last week or two weeks ago. A red wolf which looks very much like a coyote in fact it would be hard without doing a DNA test to prove that's a coyote or a wolf the only reason I believe that it is is that I've never seen you know a typical coyote around here I've only seen wolves and when you hear them howling at night it's very uh, much deeper and more wolf like than coyote like so it's uh, like I said up for dispute but red wolves look very close to coyotes uh, maybe a slightly bigger head here, maybe bigger paws in some cases, but very closely related. So th that's the answer to your question is whether there's wolves and, and uh, bears here. Yeah, there's lots of them. Um, Kelly, I don't know if she's encountered any. She's pretty brazen. I'm not sure if she would run them off or 
maybe just bark and growl and come back to me. I'm not sure. But I can't imagine that she hasn't at least uh, been fairly close to one of those things because, like I said, they've been here during the day when we've been outside and uh, they're always around here traveling through. So, so far uh, she's been, um, no incidents that I'm aware of and I've never had an issue. In fact, I haven't had any big game, big animals right here at the cabin since I was halfway built, building the walls, I think. There was uh, moose tracks that came right past right here, like literally must have rubbed up against the cabin as it went by. But I haven't seen anything that close since then. So I'm not concerned. People wonder whether I have a sidearm on me at all times, whether I, I'm uh, nervous of the bears and wolves in particular. And the answer is no. I have a lot of experience with both. I've had very close encounters with both uh, wolves and bears since I was, I don't know, 16, 17. I've, I've always seeked them out actually. So I, I have a lot of close encounters with them and never had an issue. Now, that being said, there's only black bears in Ontario, Canada. There's no grizzlies. And when I went out west and, and saw the brown bears in Alaska, it, um, it's a different experience and it's a different animal. They can be much more aggressive, much more intimidating. Um, black bears are, are more timid and more likely to uh, run. Not, not that black brown bears are vicious or evil, but uh, I would certainly give them more respect than I would a uh, black bear. No. Again, I have lots of experience. I don't recommend that if you don't have outdoor experience and experience with wildlife, especially predators, that you approach a black bear or don't give it the distance or the respect that, that it deserves because you know, they do have the, the tools to, to inflict some damage. And of course, every year there are bear attacks that are fatal. Now, throughout uh, the north, but especially uh, even out here in Ontario, it's usually maybe one fatality a year kind of thing, one attack. So again, don't uh, don't approach them thinking that, that they're docile just because I haven't had a bad experience with them. Um, the wolves, I've never heard of in, on, in Ontario um, a, an attack by a wolf. They're, it's not typical for that to happen. Um, this area has a lot of wolves, especially because just north of here we have a major deer yard where the deer winter and the wolf packs do quite well there and they cycle in and out and Algonquin Park's nearby as well where there's a very healthy wolf population. So plenty of them around here, yet I've never heard of any negative encounters. So if you do have a story to share though, I'll be very curious to hear it, good or bad. I'm very uh, interested in hearing all about bears and learning more about them. You can never, you never know everything. I have a lot to learn as well. So, you know, any behavior that you can share with me, I'd appreciate it. And I'm sure the rest of the viewers would appreciate reading those comments as well. Interesting stories. So that's it. I thought I'd answer that question for you. If you have any more questions, please ask them in the comments um, below this video or in any video. Um, I'm trying to answer as many of your questions on this channel as possible, especially since there's so many new subscribers this year. New viewers watching what I'm doing here. So uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you and, and uh, I'll continue to answer your questions as, soon, as much as I can. So thanks for uh, joining me at the cabin. I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time. Take care.